this city and uh, busy all morning is Brad Ross head of communications with TTC answering your questions online and we're going to break for a moment to discuss a little bit about, about what's been happening yeah. here on the show so he's come in to talk on our second screen and so what do you bring it over here and we'll put it on the table we're going to simulcast you've been busy Brad on uh, BT extra right now um, put him put him expose him on the hot seat there we go. <laughs> uh, on our second screen on BT extra for the last little bit and you've been getting great questions absolutely yeah questions about you know why do we why do we do the things that we do for example why do we short term why can't we you know bypass a station if there's a problem at that station sort of go around it if you will on the subway um, why don't we have the frequent service that we used to have on certain routes so those kinds of questions we're getting those are very very good questions and things how are like you answering them <laughs> <laughs> Truthfully and yeah. honestly, I yeah. mean, sometimes things happen in the system. We can't move trains around incident stations because it just doesn't work that way, unfortunately. We don't have, you know, an express track below or, or off to the side that we can run trains around a station. So when there's a problem at a particular station, like yesterday at Ossington, for example, we can only turn trains back at Kiel and St. George. We don't have the, the luxury of going around that problem uh, like you could on a bus, for example, because it's, it's a subway track and we don't have express tunnels. Okay, so that, those are, sorry, go ahead, Kevin. No, 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 go ahead. Those are concrete, everyday examples and questions. Let's talk big picture then, because yeah. we saw this during the debate. It was the hottest topic, one of the hottest topics, mm -hmm. definitely the top three. You know, we're, we're a massively growing city. Mm -hmm. We do not have the infrastructure in place to move these people to and from work in an effective manner. Do we invest in something that costs a lot of money, but it's, you know, 10 years down the road, like subway tunnels? Or do we deal with something, a, as some people call it, a band-aid solution, above ground, but it'll deal with the flow right now and the demand right now? So there's a number of things at play, and, and so there is infrastructure investment, of course. The Spadina subway extension is, is, is well under construction. Mm -hmm. The tunnels have all been built. The Scarborough subway extension has been approved, and, and planning has begun for that. Um, the LRT, uh, the Eggleton Crosstown, for example, is under construction, tunneling now. Yeah, would you hurry up with that? I am tired of driving <laughs> down Eglinton Avenue. Well, with you the can bring, your, bring our friends from Metrolinx on next, and we can, they can answer those questions okay. too. Because there is a lot of congestion, and that does affect our surface routes. And so, you know, there are things that we need to do in, in the short term, in the medium term, and the long term. And, and so th those are some of the things that we're working with our new board on, and our new chair, and of course, Mayor Tory. Now, I have said this many, many times. I said the number one problem, Facing trans in the GTA is the fact that there are too many transit brands. You have 12 different transit brands serving this area. You have duplication, in some cases, triplication and quadruplication of, of, of routes. You can stand at, like I, I use as an example, Highway 7 and Western Road, and you can see a TTC bus go by you. You can see a Brampton trans, a transit bus. You can see a Zoom transit. You can see a Go transit. You can see a York transit, a Viva transit, all duplicating routes. And, and we can't cross borders. Like, why don't we just get one GTA Transit Authority and move the entire GTA? Well, I'm not a politician, so I'm not, I'm not going to go down that path. But what I will say is that, yes, there are a number of, 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 of transit agencies. And so, yes, at, a, at an intersection like that, you may see all four or five transit systems using that piece of road. But then they're going off and they're, and they're going into their own communities. But it's not just that intersection. It's, yeah. it's dozens Maybe. of intersections. So, uh, you know, I, I, those, are que those are questions really, frankly, uh, Kevin, for others. What I can say is that uh, we do work very closely with, our, with all of our partners, at, whether it's at York Region or... Uh, in Mississauga or at Metrolinx, and we will all work very closely together. We're working with 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 Metrolinx and Go Transit on, you know, fare integration strategies, for example, to to allow people to uh, use their their Presto card uh, and pay the same fare, for example, from Danforth Go Station, um, <coughs> excuse me, at, at Main Street Subway, or at Exhibition Place in Liberty Village, to to uh, to to help, you know, alleviate some of the congestion that we see on King. Speedy the process, yeah. So, so, so those kinds of things are at play, and we, we, we work very well together as, uh, as transit systems. Oh, actually, I just want to I just want to bring this to your attention, uh, in right now. Uh, service suspended on line one right now okay. uh, due to a power off situation at Union Station. Trains turning back at Bloor and Osgood Station. So that's on the, the YUS line. So that means there is no service uh, from Bloor, uh, between Bloor and Os no, Osgood down around to Bloor. Okay. So this, this is what people sometimes get angered about. All they know is that right now, why am I standing here with this crowd? Why hasn't we, there been a train in 15, 20 minutes? Yeah. Let's explain. We don't know exactly what the power off so is. So I don't know what, yeah. yeah. So, so, 
you're absolutely right. So a couple of things. And one of the things I said actually earlier uh, upstairs with Winston was uh, that question was asked about um, alternative routes, for example, and what we suggest to people is they're all in the downtown core. You do have the benefit of, of two lines relatively close together. So if you need to get downtown, then what I would recommend right now, if this is the issue going on, is if you use, use, use the Young Line, go over to St. George and go south on St. George or north as the case may be. Mm -hmm. Take the streetcar back across an as, 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 as an alternate. That's a good alternate when there's something happening in the downtown. With respect to communication, we're trying to get some messages out to people. There's something going on in line one. I don't know what, what, the, what the, there's a number of things that could be power off. We try to be uh, very clear in, in what the issue is. And so when we are talking to our customers, whether it's via Twitter, whether it's through PA announcements, uh, or whether it's, it's me talking to, to, to folks like yourselves, what is the problem specifically? It, not power off could be a number of things. You're right. That's the initial tweet. We got no power at Union Station for some reason. I don't know what the, what's going on. Yeah, right now. I know we, we we have to let you go, but we're going to continue the conversation here. Okay. But but how soon? If you can be really quick in this answer, how soon before we get uh, communication down in the tunnel for our cell phones? Mm -hmm. And I know where there's a there's so we have Wi-Fi right now uh, from some stations uh, from Union to Bloor and, okay. and over to Bay uh, by by the Pan Am games. The entire downtown, you will have Wi-Fi. Oh. All right. End it on that high note. At Brad TTC and continue online. We'll be back with more yeah. BT. Right so therefore, you can watch BT Extra, BTToronto.ca slash extra. Continue your conversation. Perhaps you heard him say something here right now you want to question on. You can just add your comments uh, below. Thank you, Brad. Thank you. Thank all you. Right. Let's go upstairs. So, uh, Russ, once again, no yep. uh, service line one uh, from Osgood all the way around the U to uh, Bloor Station because of a power off at Union Station. Yes, exactly right. And as Brad said, you have alternates in that area. If you're planning to drive downtown this morning and that is your route, uh, you'll find usually delays on the southbound 404 Don Valley Parkway. Earlier problems on the parkway south of the 401. They're all cleared up. Earlier problems on the 401 out by the uh, area of Markham Road cleared up. There's the 401 heading uh, eastbound through 427. Surprisingly good this morning. Southbound 400 down to the 401. That's been in reasonable good shape uh, all morning long. Just a bit of a delay onto the eastbound side. Queenie Gardner heading into the city. Not too bad at all. As you, show, you saw the southbound parkway not bad and uh, Gardner Expressway okay. It's built normally too as you head around the Humber Bay through the construction area. Back to the group. Okay. We're still chatting, Russ. Thank you. So you're saying power is about to be restored? Power is about to be restored, yes. Okay, on the subway. Apparently there was an incident. A woman uh, somehow got her foot, foot caught uh. between the platform and the subway, and that's that mind the gap sign you see on the subways. Yes, yeah, so we, we do, yes. I mean, uh, you know, I don't know exactly what happened. Somebody got their foot caught between the, the train and the platform, and so we, we turn the power off to make, you know, we, we yeah. don't, safety you know, safety first. is paramount always in everything transit. That and union station, though, I mean, it is, that, those platforms, Platforms and t with that construction, I've been on those platforms. It's yeah. really dangerous how close we are to the trains. Well, the platform is, was very narrow to begin with, and that's mm -hmm. why we, we rebuilt it. And that's why we have a new second platform. You'll notice it's much wider. The new platform, the, the, the platform under construction now, again, will be much wider uh, and, you'll, and, and, and much brighter. And so that will be done by, uh, by the spring, uh, again, in time for the Pan Am Games. Entire subway union station, not the big rail station, but the subway station at Union will be Good. ready Overhauled. for time for the Pan Am Games. All right, quick check on weather. Here's Frank.